Hi guys, well we're back home after an exceptional week, really exciting tournament. Uh, South Africa once again put an awesome, awesome show together. I mean just the atmosphere at the tournament was unbelievable. The way everything was set up, the way stations, the display areas, I just, I just, I just think it's probably yeah, one of the finest world champs that been to in the last few years so once again a huge thank you to all the organizers everybody that ran the tournament and Saba in general just what an awesome job guys and well done from our side uh, the Protea team Mike Milligan Henny Dupree unbelievable management team they really really make us feel like there's an opportunity for us to win every time they keep the team so enthusiastic and without them it would just be really impossible so huge thanks to those guys I really really appreciate all the effort and hard work you put in well from a fishing point of view the fishing was pretty tough um, yeah look things changed a little bit as as the tournament went along but the nice thing was we had quite a lot of rain leading up to the tournament especially like right on top of the tournament and for us specifically that helped you know we targeted bigger fish um, just trying to fish you know lay downs and current and that kind of deal and that for us was the key um, yeah you know we spend most of our time what I consider up north which is up towards the clip area and for us the water quality up there was just way better than anywhere else so just a lot more stable and we basically targeted lay downs and brush with spinner baits and then when we had the opportunity to get into the areas where there was current then uh, we used stuff like pitching baits small um, small items of three to four inch units um, and the spinnerbait as well. The spinnerbait was really the key for us and that's what produced the majority of big fish. You know, even besides the, the two really big fish that we caught, it, it produced really nice size keeper fish. Uh, the speed crawl as always, I mean that's, that's just the standard issue on that river. Yeah, during the course of the tournament, uh, hats off to Craig. Um, yeah, I'm just, you know, Craig put his faith in some of the decisions that were made during the tournament. We obviously had a plan to try and target those bigger fish, which meant basically the chances of us not being able to limit would be good. But if we caught the fish that we were targeting, we would end up in the situation that we did end up in. There's a few critical things, you know, that helped us along the way. Um, you know, obviously the, the current was flowing quite strong and it's, it's moved a lot of stuff around. And for me, you know, the ultimate, ultimate way to fish that stuff is if you can see any new kind of uh, branch limbs or lay downs or anything that's moved around. And that is only targetable with a 360. That just makes it so much easier. So you find a little bit of brush that's pushed up against the rock in the current. That stuff was not there before. The only way to find it is on the moment. So you're fishing live basically. And that helped us to capture quite a few decent fish. The other thing that helped us a lot were the talons. You know, I've just recently put the talons on. I have in the past used some different products. But for me, the ultimate way when you're in the current is if you can turn the boat around and face the lay down, for example, and peg yourself with the talons and let the bait present itself to the fish naturally with the flow of the current. That uh, also a big factor for us. What I like about the talons is they are immediate. You know, you, you set the boat up in position and you deploy them and you are rock solid within a split second um, so that for me is was a huge help a um, couple of other things yeah we just rotated those areas continuously you know we had an opportunity at a really big fish on the last day and that fish 
fortunately for us, we managed to catch that fish again on the second attempt. And that fish had just basically moved up a little bit in the current and was sitting in a bit of a current break. So, you know, that was, that was a, an awesome fish to catch. Although we caught the 3.18 on the second day, the, uh, the 3.2, yeah, that was, that was the most unbelievable experience catching that fish on the last tournament day. Really, really pleased with the overall result. Uh, we never expected to end up the way we did. And I'm so very proud of the South African team, the way that everybody performed. Every single fish that was caught during that tournament was important to the outcome of that event. But from a personal point of view, I just, you know, I'm so, so proud. I know, um, you know, to get the achievements that we have, you know, just awesome, you know, three, three medals, you know, winning nation, winning boat pairing, and to win the biggest fish. That is just, for me, it was the ultimate goal in any of these world champ events. Some nice new trophies to add to the awesome collection behind me. I'm just really, really excited and amped now to move on to Lake Murray 2020. If the opportunity presents itself and I'm fortunate enough to make it there, I would just I'll be overwhelmed and so pleased to try and get South Africa a win out of out of the continent. But thank you to everybody out there, all the all the folks that popped through and supported us, all the messages. We really appreciate it and as Team South Africa we'd like to thank everybody and I'm hoping that we made you guys exceptionally proud.